What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another two minute tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're learning how to pre-compose footage inside of After Effects, and more importantly, why we do it. So here we are in After Effects, I had this very, very simple logo animation. The logo comes on screen and off screen. It's cool, simple, if you're new to After Effects, this is so fun to make for your first time. But today, we're not worrying about the animation. Let's say you really like this animation, but you wanna change it, you wanna switch it out with a different logo. That's why we pre-compose stuff. To switch out logos, create a templatized effect inside of After Effects. So, to pre-compose something, you'll right-click that certain layer. In this case, the logo we want to pre-compose. So select it, right-click, and pre-compose. Very, very simple, but it opens up a new little dialog box and we can type logo. And leave all attributes in footage and click OK. Now we will open up the new composition. Click OK. Boom, we now have this Slack logo. So what this means is I can put anything inside of this little box and it will now become the logo inside of this animation. So let's say I drag in a new logo here. In this case, we're gonna drag in the IBM logo. We're gonna scale it down. There we go. Now we can hide the Slack logo by turning off the little eye here and go back to our footage composition by clicking footage right here. Another way to go back in time for our compositions. And now it is the IBM logo. Really cool. And that is the fundamental reason why we pre-compose stuff, so we can switch out a comp inside of it. It makes templates, it makes things a lot smoother inside of After Effects, it makes your animations much more useful. As always, I'm Max, thank you for watching this video, thank you for being a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.